Hey YouTube, this is TechFank9. Today I'm going to be showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone. This will work on the GSM International and USA Unlocked version, Sprint LTE CDMA, and Verizon LTE CDMA. This will work on Ice Cream Sandwich and the latest and greatest, Jelly Bean. So this will work flawlessly on any new updates of Jelly Bean and so even if it comes to a new version of Jelly Bean or anything, this process will still work. So first thing I'm going to be doing is downloading this Galaxy Nexus root mac.zip file. And as always, it will be in the description of the video. Right there. Description of the video. So once you get that downloaded, you're just going to open it up so Mac will automatically extract it. Alright, so it's extracted right here. And we're going to be moving that file into our downloads folder. Oh, nope. So let's move it to our downloads folder. Get downloads right here. Let me just delete this so you don't get confused. So move this file into our downloads folder. And as I'll explain everything right now. What's in the folder? You got AD, ADB Mac, Fastboot Mac, right here and here. And you got Clockwork Mod Super User Zip. That's you can be flashing that into Clockwork Mod Recovery. You also have the three image files for GSM version, Verizon version and sprint version. You're gonna that's gonna be a clockboard mod recovery image. So that's our explained. So now we're gonna be opening up terminal. And we're gonna be typing in C D downloads. Enter. Then C D Galaxy Nexus root and if you think I'm going too fast, I will I will have a step-by-step -step guide as soon as I get it up in the description. Now we're going to do dot slash fastboot dash mac space OEM space unlock. That will unlock your bootloader. Enter. Now it says waiting for device. So now we're going to be plugging in our phone via my or USB port and via micro USB. So just plug in your phone. It's plugged in, and don't worry, this program will not pop up for you. It does; it doesn't affect it. So just power off your phone now. Now we're going to be holding the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Keep holding until you see the start screen. So all three. All right, now you're in bootloader mode. And now you can see on the screen, it, it popped up right away. It says yes and no. Select the, power, or the volume button up and power button to select it. Now, as you can see, it said may void warranty. Don't worry about that. If you're ever gonna send it back to your manufacturer, you can always just lock the bootloader and they won't even know that you messed with your phone. So it's very safe and easy to do. So now we're gonna be on here. So now we're gonna go back to the computer. And we're going to be typing in, we're going to be installing Clockwork Mod. So we're going to go dot slash fastboot dash mac flash recovery. And now we're going to be going into the downloads folder like I showed you before, and we're going to be typing that file name for a specific phone. Now you can see right here, you got GSM that you're going to be typing in that whole file name. For Ryzen phone, you're going to type in that whole file name, and for Sprint, you're going to be typing that whole file name. So I have a GSM phone, so I'm going to be getting info, and I'm going to type in that whole name. It's different for each one, so Verizon, get info, and type in that whole name. For Sprint, get the, get info and get that whole name. And if you don't want to do that, I will have a step-by-step -step guide, like I said earlier, on what to directly type for each GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So now I'm going to be typing in Galaxy Mac. All right, I'm going to be typing that again. I accidentally pressed enter. So I'm going to be dot slash fastboot dash mac flash recovery space 
gsm underscore right here. I'm just typing it directly from here. So gsm recovery dash clockwork dash touch dash 5.8.0.2 dash mag uro dot img enter. All right, now it's sending recovery and now it will install recovery onto your phone. All right, it said okay, as you can see right here, it says okay. So now we're gonna be entering into recovery mode. So press the power up twice, one, two, and it says recovery mode right here, and power button select it. You can just close this out, for, or you can leave it open, you'll need it. All right, and now you can see that you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. But we're not done yet. We're going to be transferring this zip file, like I said earlier, this zip file into our internal SD card of our phone. So let's just reboot our system. Power button, select reboot. And we'll transfer that zip file. Then we'll enter back into Clockwork Mod Recovery mode, flash that zip file, and then we're done. So it'll be about a minute or two more. Alright, it rebooted. So wait, it, it will reboot twice on the very first time you're getting into Clockwork Mod Recovery, so be patient. Alright, it's done rebooting. Now, as you can see, the, everything was deleted. So, we're just going to be transferring the file. Let's just go next. Let's just skip all this and transfer the file. Okay. And plug it and plug it back in. All right, now we're going to be transferring this zip file into my internal SD card of my phone. So you can see it's my phone and it is connected still and connected to my computer. You can use the default Mac file transfer in Finder or you can use this one. I will have a link in the description to download it for Mac. So just transfer this file into there now and make sure your phone doesn't go to sleep if you're using this program. All right, now it's here. It's all transferred and everything. So now we're just gonna close everything out and we're gonna be entering into recovery mode. So power off your phone. Okay, now we're going to be entering into bootloader mode first. So just hold down all three buttons, volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Alright, now we're going to be pressing power up twice. One, two, and power button select it. Now we're going to be choosing install zip from SD card. So we're going to go down once and power button select it. And now it says choose zip from SD card. We're going to be choosing that. So power button select it. And now we're going to be finding that zip file, the download one. It's a clockboard mod one. So we're going to go down. Until you get to C until you get a CWM dash super SU and you're going to be selecting that. Select that one and go all the way down to yes. Power button. And I just want to take a few seconds. All right, it's already done. So now we're going to be go back. So go all the way down to go back and power button select it. And now reboot system now. Once your phone is finished rebooting, your phone will be rebooted.
all right? And now you can see when you go into here, you have super SU right there. That means you have the root app. Now I'm gonna be, let me be really quick. I'll be right back and download Titanium Backup and show you that I get super user permission. So I'll be right back. And there you go, it's asking for super user permission, so I'm gonna accept it. And there you go, I got super user permission, that means I have root access. So this is how you root your phone, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to check out our step-by-step -step guides and much more tutorials and all that at Android Check That Blogspot. And don't forget to check out Android 7 where he has all these guides and much more on Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note, and Skyrocket. Thanks for watching guys, and if you found this video helpful, which I think you did, please don't forget to rate and please subscribe as that does help me out a lot. So thank you very much for subscribing and rating. Thanks guys.